Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play My Sims Agents. In the last episode, we got this sweet new HQ, and I got a new look. In this episode, we're going to do what that thing has been telling us to do, and we're going to recruit someone. Now, this person you've already seen in this game. Can you remember who that one person is, or who do you think that we're going to be call calling to recruit? We are going to be recruiting Travis. No way, you can make me an official agent? That's so cool. Hey, I'm in. Hey, so does that mean you're getting me that pizza? Yeah, he has to be paid in he has to be paid in pizza if you remember that or er, remember that from earlier. God, okay. Alright, now he has three charisma and two smarts. So you can put him on a floor that you want to be at a smart floor. Or yeah, just put him anywhere. I usually Stick them in the hainer because that's usually my charisma floor. Welcome to the team. What's up, guys? Let's do this. Great, Travis is now in your HQ. You can see him hanging out on whichever floor you assign him. All right, now this is Jenny's function in the game. Talk to her. Any clients with dispatch missions? You want a dispatch mission? Just choose one and let's get this over with. Alright, now here you will see all the dispatch missions you have available. Now obviously you only have one. Right here you can see the ones available. Right here you can see the ones that you've already completed. So obviously the logical thing to do is to do the first one that is available. Alright, so obviously you can only deploy Travis. He's the only one it's possible to deploy at first. That's it. You just sent Travis off on his first mission. I hope he'll be okay. Dispatch agents will always check in with a quick test message to let you know the, how the mission is going. Make sure you keep an eye out for any updates on your cell phone. Oh, one more thing. This is how I'm going to do the dispatch missions. I'm going to read them off as soon as I first get them because there's a lot of these. Read off the description. And then as soon as all... All four of them are completed. I'm going to go back and renew them. Now, a lot of times at the end of the game, um, like there's a lot of time to kill. So I'll probably just uh, take out the me running around with me running around looking like an idiot waiting for text messages and just show you the text messages and the finished results. Now, there are some dispatch missions where like any choice works and there are some where one choice is always the choice that works and there's one where it changes each time so it varies make sure make sure you keep an eye out for any updates that are on your cell phone right that's a good way for us to keep in touch yeah it means you don't have to hang around hq to get dispatch updates you're free to search the city for new cases Seriously, you can go now. I'll work real hard while you're gone. Hello? Where did you come from? Hey, you can't just barge in here without an appointment. Matt, do something. Matt, is it? My name is Evelyn Gray. I understand you help people with mysteries. I try to. Well, I have a mystery. I think someone was in my apartment while while I wasn't there. And why do you think that? Because they completely wrecked the place before they left. Well, I'd say that's a pretty compelling evidence. Yes, the door was open when I got home, and when I went inside... It was awful! Did they take anything? What did they want? She goes from being sad to... Just being, I don't know. Well, I don't know what they wanted. That's why I'm hiring you. I don't like her. Her, sho her shoes are way too casual for that outfit. I think we should help. Do you think Derek has moved up to burglary now? No, this sounds way too big for the neighborhood bully. I wonder... Evelyn, did you see anybody strange around your apartment? Well, there was a girl. I didn't get a look good look. She was wearing a red and gray Morky Corp jumpsuit. 
Orky Corp, Evelyn, I'll take the case. Thank you, Matt. When you're when you're ready, I'll meet you meet meet you outside of my apartment. I'm still a little scared to go inside. She's shaking. Don't worry, whoever did this, I'm sure they're long gone. We'll be there soon. Okay. And she leaves. She seems nice. Yeah, I wonder who would want to scare her like that. I don't know, a mummy? Matt, be careful. If this was one of my stories, I'd make this the part where you take a seemingly simple case from a mysterious stranger but get drawn into something far more dangerous. You might be right, Jenny. I get the feeling we're about to step into something big. Alright, so you go outside. Just for the heck of it, I feel like talking to Yuki. Are you looking for something, or... Yuki is not, uh, Yuki likes the view from up here. Many faces driving by down there. Um... I'm just gonna walk away. Let's go back to Main Street. Now she says apartment, but hold on. Evelyn Gray is a very mysterious woman. She seemed genuinely frightened, but was Jenny right about her? I can't shake the feeling that Evelyn knows more than she's letting on. I wonder what Buddy thought about our enigmatic guest. I had a hamster named Evelyn once. Okay. Evelyn should be outside her apartment. I should go talk to her. Now, it says apartment, but look. It's not an apartment. It's a house. Whatever. No, buddy, you're not getting there before I am. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's Lewis. Plays a very minor role in both the uh, original My Sims games and this one. And then Rhonda's not here, but... Oh, there's Rhonda. She is one of the first people you can move into your town in the original My Sims, and here she plays a very minor role. So let's talk to Evelyn. Hello, Ev Evelyn. I have a couple of questions. Okay, Jin Matt. Any additional info you can give me about the perp you saw escaping? Not really, just that she was wearing that red and gray Morky Corp uniform. Have you had any problems with Morky Corp in the past? No, never. So whatever interest they have in you, it's new. Do you have any idea if they took anything? Yes, I took a quick inventory. Looks like they took some jewelry, jewelry and some other random stuff. What random stuff did they take? Oh, they also took some of my dad's old stuff. A letter and one of his research journals. Aha! If this was a simple burglary, they wouldn't have use for those. I'm on it, Evelyn. That's a solid lead. Evelyn's apartment is sure to be full of evidence. So go in. Evelyn's house. See, that's his house up there. Evelyn's house. But everything else says apartment. And then for those of you who've played either My Sims PC or My Sims Kingdom, who does this remind you of? Anyway. And we'll be seeing her later in the game, so. Alright, so. If you look right here, not here, alright, examine, hmm, it looks like someone might have spilled some ink here, perhaps this ink got stepped in, oh, footprints, but before we follow those, rummage, and you find, hmm, a receipt from Shirley's place for a haircut, a haircut receipt, is this Evelyn's, and if you look under here, look under the bed, Hmm, anything under the bed? Hmm, a coupon for Gino's Pizzeria. A pizza coupon. Is this Evelyn's? I will talk to her when we get back outside, but... Follow the footprints. They rudely walk on the bed. The criminal broke in and left through the window. More prints out there. Alright, now, if you look, the door and the window are on opposite walls. But when you go out... You come out this window, the door being right there. Oh, all right, we just got a text message from Walker, the first 
text message you'll get will always be from the person that assigned it. So Travis has arrived and is looking up at the cat, trying to decide what to do. I've mentioned that gaining the cat's trust is harder than it looks. Really, it's impossible to lose this first mission. Just keep following the footprints. Oh, wait. First, talk to Evelyn. Is this your pizza coupon? Nope, I'm allergic to tomatoes, so I never go to Gino's place. Ah, must have come from one of the culprits then. I love it when criminals drop things. Did the criminal stop in for a slice of pizza before the break-in? Alright, I'm getting some serious frame drops. Okay, we're back. Alright, sorry. Sorry if that was glitchy. Alright, is this your salon receipt? Yeah, that's mine. I went to Shirley's yesterday to get my hair done. It looks nice. Thanks for the info. The criminals didn't didn't have anything to do with the salon receipt. Alright, so let's go back to find our footprints. Alright, they're going to town hall. The trail fades away here. Did the criminal do anything in town square? Alright, if you look back here, it's your second instance of dumpster dive. And I'm, I'm not mistaken, that's the last required dumpster dive. A letter addressed to Dr. Gray. They stole the letter to Evelyn's dad, but they didn't keep it. It must have been after something else. I think if you look at the clues... Yeah, there's only one thing, so... Alright. Oh, and you can salute this if you want. Now, with most actions, you, uh... Like, with interactive things, you can do over and over again. Like, it doesn't have that check mark right there, but this... But this one, for some reason, it does. Wow, time's already up. That went fast. Alright, well, anyway, next time on uh, Let's Play My Sims Agents, we are going to finish Evelyn's case. This is GoCub711. Thank you for watching Episode 6.